I'm Katie Beakin and Colour Lock is my brand and I'm just going to show you some tutorials and step by steps for different designs, basic stuff and some more complex stuff so have fun watching guys, bye! I'm going to prep this nail by pushing the cuticles back and remove any non-living tissue from the nail plate so we don't get no lifting. And use a 180 grit buffer to remove the surface shine. I'm going to get rid of this free edge. And we're going to apply a clear tip. So we're going to apply a tip Once that's dry, we're going to blend the tip in. We're going to use the full length for this tip. That's going to hurt you a bit off. Mm -hmm. Wipe over to remove any dust. So we're going to use the tri gel as a base over the entire nail. We're going to work the gel into the nail and like massaging it in. So a thin layer over the entire nail. into the lamp for 30 seconds then we're going to start building so we get quite a large bead and we're going to run it straight up the centre float over the sides So we can start to build that apex. And 
as you get to the free edge it's going to get thinner. Into the lamp for 30 seconds. So another bead, but we're going to go right from the cuticle to the free edge. So we're using it to bring everything together. I'm just making sure that apex is built up enough. Just kind of like that south level a little bit. Just going to pinch this a little. This is going to give a deeper C curve. So if you look at the end of it, you can see that we've got a deeper C curve now, which will make the structure of the nail a lot stronger and it will make the nail slimmy. Cleanse that over. I'm just going to do a little bit of filing on this now. It doesn't need that much filing. We do, however, need the surface of the nail or the braid because we're going to go on and put colour lock gel polish onto the nail. Just going to smooth it with with the buffer. Plus, making sure it's ready for colour lock application. Remove the dust. I'm 
We're going to use the colour Shimon and we're going to do it quite random. This is quite random and messy again, which is super easy to do. Just creating a bit of a background. Then we're going to get Have a Word. Have a Word, which is gold. Put it up to it. the lamp 30 seconds so like I say it's just messy you don't have to be perfect with it same again with the other word Into the lamp, 30 seconds. Now we're going to take some gold leaf. Break it up. So you've got little pieces. Because you've got a sticky layer, it's going to stick. It is fed label, it looks good. make sure that's all stuck down and then we're going to top coat that to seal it in about it being completely smooth because we're going to sort that out in a minute we're going to give it a bit of a buff right cleanse over that just to remove that sticky layer and like I said we're going to give this a bit of a buff and a file just to make sure it's really smooth because it's not going to be smooth because we've added the gold leaf to it because we're going to paint on top of it and this is just literally a background colour that you could do this with any colour at all and it's simple and easy some people would just wear the nail like this but we're going to do some painting on the top now we're going to do a bit of one stroke and then remove any dust and then we're going to do a bit of paint take one side in the white paint one side in the dark red paint and create the fade and 
and you do quite a big flower on here. So you need to let the brush wiggle. So with this slanted brush, we've got the white or the tallest part. So when we create this flower, the white will be on the outside of the flower. I'm just going to change the brush now and use a slightly smaller brush. Which means we can do everything a little bit smaller.
going to go around the center now. We're going to glaze that now by top coating it, just seal it in. And we'll cure this for 30 seconds. And as soon as you add that top coat, it really brings out all the colours. the lamp We are ready. Yes. Oh my god. So I can't do it. Um, welcome to. This is going in the bloopers, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Take a million and one. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. Are you duck? No, hold on. I'm gonna say if I start yeah. talking to you and cut myself out. Yeah. You're right, Kirsty. <laughs> Are you duck? <laughs> You're right. <laughs> I'm gonna show you a bit of nail stuff. Oh, is that enough? That's all right. <laughs>